Hello everyone, this is Christopher, and uh, I've been busy with lots of things recently, so I haven't been able to make many videos. Um, our summer has finally begun. Rainy season has ended, I think. Uh, and uh, I've been working on things uh, so, uh, well, I've kept myself well stocked with coffee, but um, I figured I would like to treat myself with a little experiment. So, I uh, got a delivery. And uh, look, kind of looks like, you know, standard manila envelope with uh, some papers in it. But actually, what is it? It's coffee. Kind of uh, one of the most interesting ways I've had coffee delivered to me, green coffee. Uh, usually it's uh, a 10, 20 kilo uh, package that uh, driver is, uh, doesn't, is reluctant from uh, removing from the uh, tr back of the truck until he confirms that I'm really here. Um, so what are these? These, may be difficult to see right now, are Indonesian long berries. So these berries are somewhat longer. The actual fruit is elongated and the, uh, the seeds or the coffee beans are also uh, exaggerated in their shape from what uh, is considered normal arabica or whatever. So this is a form of tipica, uh, which is a genetic variation of uh, of Arabica that is found in, uh, it's actually this is found in Ethiopia apparently. However, uh, I first had long berries um, that were grown in Western Africa and I remember really liking those a lot. So I decided to uh, experiment. This is sort of in the line of the polemic, nature, nurture. So the question is, uh, were the long berries that we had from West Africa, was it the climate, the soil, the growing uh, methodology, the processing methodology, or was it, so was that the nurture bit, or was it the nature? Was it the genes in the coffee? So this is a little experiment uh, that I thought I might like to do uh, to uh, de-stress from projects uh, recently. So I'm uh, looking forward to roasting these beans and comparing them to what I remember from West Africa, which actually we had a little smidgen left over of, uh, although they're over a year old from uh, the distributor. Uh, distributors no longer have them, so uh, I've I've kept them in my library for a while. And these apparently are from last year's uh, crop. Uh, so they're fairly fresh. So I'm looking forward to roasting these. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I probably won't be able to comment uh, in this video because I'd had to wait several days for the beans to degas and things after I roast them. But uh, I hope to post an update in the near future about uh, what I thought about these beans. Uh, this is actually a little less than I like to have as a sample. This I'll get two roasts out of, cut it down the middle, uh, 250 grams a piece. Uh, sometimes 250 grams, uh, well, two batches is just not enough to ascertain whether these are beans I like or not. Um, I kind of figure a kilo is what I like to do, but uh, a kilo doesn't fit in the mailbox as easily as 500 gram stuff. So kudos to uh, Wild Coffee in Tokyo for their very interesting way of delivering small coffee samples. And I hope uh, that some of you will post some comments and questions below and like, like to hear what's going on with you, and what kind of coffee and other things you're enjoying recently. Matane?